YouTubes. How are we all doing? I hope you're all well. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video is going to be the second part to the repair I've done to the 2 Series Grand Coupe door. So uh, this is going to be the painting stage. I'll show, show you a little bit of preparation and then we'll get it in the booth, mask it up um, and get it painted. So the job's all in primer. Um, we've done all the prepping on the blend panels and um, yeah, a couple of little pinholes I had to do in the on top of the primer that were in the repair, uh, but nothing major. Repairs come out okay. It's it's all right. It's not not too bad. It was a little bit tricky. Um, so yeah, well what I do first is um, I guide coat it, uh, block it all down with 320 grit. That would be with um, 3M Cubitron 320 grits uh, dry, and then. Uh, guide coat it again and then machine it off with the dual action sander with uh, 500 grit and then I go over with 600 grit. And once that's all prepped I can get it all in the booth and get it masked up and we'll get some paint on it. So I'll get set up and, uh, and start doing a bit of preparation on it.
on YouTube, so that's the two series Grand Coupe, all masked up and ready to spray. So I'll give you a quick look. So we're painting that door, colouring all that door and blending into the quarter panel and the front door and then clear coating all of it and around the pillar and then a little smart repair to do down there, a little blowing down there. So um, I'll get all this I'll get all this degrease, so solvent degreaser and then water water based degreaser, get it all blown off, tacked off. I'll give it I'll give it a coat of uh Meepa blender coat first over the whole job. And then um then it should be um <clears throat> half a cut of base coat, one light coat for the first coat, and then a double coat and blend that out, and then then an orientation coat, so a drop coat. Um, and that should be fine, that should cover that, no problem. Um, so the guns I'll be using on this job will be... Same as, uh, same as on most jobs. But I'll tell you what I'm going to use. Anyway, in case you're new. So base coat will be SATA Jet X5500 with a 1.2i HVLP. And then clear coat is going to be with my SATA Jet X5500 CC, and that's a 1.3 CC RP. Uh, the blender coat will go on with the same base coat gun. And clear coat, I'm going to do this with CX2 again. So I'm, I'm getting some good results with it. Um, yeah, I'm pleased with it. On this BMW, BMW is quite renowned for sort of thick chunky orange peel finishes but this one's quite flat and a little bit sort of drawn in um yeah it's not like on a lot of bmws it is a little bit lighter the the finish on this on this car so i'm going to do it with cx2 but this would be of i'm going to use hs25 which is like the slower well sort of the normal medium hardener it's not the slowest 35 is the slowest 25 uh, is in the middle. I haven't I haven't tried it with that yet. So 25 is for sort of partial resprays, you know, <clears throat> two panels or more. And uh, HS10 is for like your single panels and smart repairs and all that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try it with HS25 in this. See see what difference that makes with the finish and how it goes on. Um, so yeah, looking forward to doing that. To be honest with you. So yeah, that's what it'd be. Me per six two clear coat would be going on this. Give you a quick look. It's just messy again already. I sort of tidied my <laughs> mixing bench a little bit, redone the top, and I, these little covers that you get for the scales, the price of them is just ridiculous. So I haven't ordered one of them yet. I've just put some foil on it for now to protect that. I probably will get some new covers. If anyone knows where you can get them covers, because I've contacted the scale company direct, and uh, you have to buy 10 of each. And um, yeah, quite a bit of money for a bit of plastic that goes over the scales. But there we go, is what it is. Right, so I'll get all this get all this job degreased and cleaned down and blown off, get the paint mixed and we'll get some paint on it.
Right then YouTubes, that's the BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe all finished, so I'll give you a quick look at it. Fitted it up. And um, give it a little, little nib and polisher, wasn't a lot to do. A couple of nibs in the back door, and ran the polisher over it. And the colours blended in well and I'm, I'm really pleased with the finish with that CX2, it looks it looks really factory, which that's what I've, I try to aim to get get it to look like factory. Um, so yeah, I'm pleased with it and the repair's not too bad, considering it was um, a little bit awkward. It's fairly straight, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but there's nothing that's ever at really perfect. There's always gonna be some something that may show in a repair on especially when you've got sort of multiple bits of filler around different areas um but no it's all gone in all right i'm quite happy with the repair the feature line looks pretty decent so yeah excuse the state of the car it's um it's now going off to have the wheels refurbed they've all got some marks on and then it's going going for a valet so come here in a bit of a state of the car dig cleanliness wise and um yeah we've cleaned up a little bit around where we've done our our work and um yeah it's in a bit of a state at the moment and uh, yeah there's a little blowing on the on the front bumper which blended in okay as well so yeah nothing no major no real major issues with this job it all went according to plan and the colour's gone in well and um yeah happy with it and it's all it's all good so yeah i'm sure the customer will be happy with it so that's it for this video thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and um yeah please like share and subscribe and all that good stuff and um yeah take care of yourselves and we'll see you again in the next one cheers